see how it sounds, but it sounds super empty, then, and I feel like I have to. I might. I'm gonna try and not. Yeah. I'm trying not. Yeah. I mean, a lot. Of, I mean, it sounds cool to do do like a ton of, especially like double in a rhythm part or something. Yeah, like we need some stuff like that. For yeah. Sure. But I don't want to have like. You know, where there's only one guitar player and then there's two guitar parts. Maybe like a few times, but yeah. I don't know. To be honest, I was mostly just asking for how many guitar labels I should put on your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm just trying to answer your question as honest as I can. Uh, I'm a guitar player, so... <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you want to play through it some more time? Yeah, yeah we could just we could just do another take of yeah, all we'll you guys. Just keep on running then. Cool, then... yeah, and I mean, that one's saved, too. Yeah, all right, sounds good. Cool. So getting to come up here and get away has been a really awesome experience. Uh, being able to stay here and not have to worry about leaving at the end of the day or being here in the morning, just being able to come into this room and work on anything I need to at any capacity, uh, you know, at any time of the night or the morning is, has been uh, just beyond words, really. Uh, so this is the first time I've been to Russian Recording and it's fucking killer. I mean, from the time we walked in the door and set our instruments down, you know, it was like Damien, you know, working with him was great. It was the most, you know, the smoothest little recording session we've had. Recording at Russian has been uh, an experience that uh, has been great. It's been a growing experience with me growing as an artist. When I first started playing with Cameron, he asked me if I would want to come here with him and, and do some songs. He had been here before and did some drum covers and they were great. And so we came up and did a couple covers and it went very well and inspired us to do more. So we come back and we did a, we did an original and it went even better. Yeah, it's a pretty cool studio for sure. I mean, the whole vibe is pretty sick. It's pretty vintage and hipster, I guess. But yeah, the whole, they have a lot of old instruments in here and old guitars and uh, old drum sets. And it was just nice to get away for a weekend and hang out with Cage and Andrew. What the songs so far? Songs. I mean, I feel pretty good about them, but I have uh, I still have to write the rest of one song tonight, hopefully, and then uh, the first song we're doing, um, it's coming together really well. My uncle.
uncle. My uncle helped write that one. He wrote most of the words and the melody, and then I helped him bring together the song, and then that's our first time putting it together, um, basically as a real song, and uh, you know it's going very well. We're all loving how it's turning out, and then yeah, the second one's going pretty much just as good for being, especially for being unfinished. And then we have room for another one, so we'll see what we do with that. Y'all ready? That Rolling. might not be the word for it, but yeah. <laughs> oh, just you, and we all come in? Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Let's just try that. We'll try just me on the first verse and then come in on the second. All right. It's been one of those days. Things don't go my way. I mean, I'm a, I'm a guitar player first, so really what I do is I just really find something that I, I like to uh, play and, and hear, you know, on the guitar. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll play more, you know, I'll play guitar on top of the guitar. Um, but basically, you know, it just starts out with, with yeah, writing, writing what I hear and, and feel in my head um, on the guitar and then coming back with a fresh mind and, and working on lyrics and a melody, you know. You know, and then with Cameron, with Cameron and Andrew, you know, Cameron, you know, I told I told Damien that Cameron is the reason that I even wanted to uh, play music, you know, for myself uh, in the first place. He's such a good drummer, and the way that he talks through the drums, you know, it's it's like I could sit in a room full of ten drummers and close my eyes and tell you which one's Cameron Allen because it's like we're having a conversation. And it, it makes it so much easier and so much, it gives me so much more inspiration whenever I'm trying to create and trying to make something happen that it's almost, uh, you know, second nature in a sense. And then with bringing Andrew on board and just not having to worry about it getting laid down, it's just awesome. He just knows what to play, when to play it, plays it well, brings new ideas, and and still still keeps it simple and, and kills it. What happened this morning? It's not good. Not me. <laughs> not it was, me. That happened this morning. Right here. <laughs> right there. It's not good placement. What happened this morning? The fire alarm went off. And this is the culprit. Apparently, Okay, so that was a good idea to put it underneath this to trigger the fire alarm system. Unreal. Alright, woke we'll up. Had some coffee. Figured I would burn some Nog Champa and hang out. And, uh, yeah, and the alarm started going off. When the lights were flashing red. <laughs> Like you were saying earlier, like we're just gonna 
going to keep talking about the morning or like what's the right result? so that's why I was wanting to kind of go to the chorus to get that together yeah. but I don't know at the same time it's just kind of if we work on the second verse then maybe it'll help okay establish that. you know we could still yeah we could still talk about the morning because we didn't make it very far So the day that we got here, I, uh, I asked Damien, the engineer, if I could light some Nog Champa incense. And he was like, sure. So uh, I lit up some Nog Champa in the uh, live room and we set up and, and got started and started tracking. Um, well, fast forward to the next morning, I wake up and have my coffee and I thought I'll burn some Nog Champa too. So I bring it over by the coffee maker and light it and uh, you know, about 10 minutes goes by and the alarm starts going off and there's lights flashing and sure enough, I had put the incense right underneath the smoke detector. Um, so then I'm scrambling to try and figure out what's going on and uh, I finally think that I could probably turn it off. So I get it shut off and sure enough, the fire department shows up, about five firemen, and uh, tell them that everything's okay. I mean, I don't remember much. <laughs> I would remember waking up to just, you know, the crazy ass loud alarm going off and, you know, we walk out there and Cameron and Aaron are running around just like crazy, like not knowing what to do. And uh, y'all sit there tell Cage, you better go put your boots on, go out there and talk to him. He's like, I'm trying. Because the fire department just showed up. And then once we get that all calmed down and watch Damien, he's like, did you guys set off the fire alarm? We were like, yeah. <laughs> After we all got, you know, dressed and stuff, coming to the studio, and that song came out of it. That was it? Oh yeah, that was... Did you just want to do that one line? No. I messed up already. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> There's one line that you sing that was kind of messed up on this one. You sing really cool in other ones. It's like when you say, through yeah. that door, you like yodel it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Th yeah. that one was a little flat. Yeah, something. it was, but there, there's plenty of other good ones mm -hmm. we could grab. Let's see. Thank you. 
I'd say what makes me feel the most passionate about music is whenever you put on a song and you just feel it. And, you know, especially after this weekend, um, sitting in there and hearing some of the stuff that we got to create together, like it, you know, that really has been a definite like charge of energy. I guess it just brings people together. Sometimes I don't feel as passionate when I play by myself but when a group of people get together. It's a different kind of story because you're making something that's going to go out into the world that people are going to hear. And I think that's a cool thing and makes other people have a passion as well if you can influence someone to play music as well. It's definitely a cool thing that your music could possibly bring a group of people together that think differently and brings them closer together. You know there's there's just songs that you can really connect with and they just pull at your heartstrings, so to speak. And I wanted to take that aspect and bring it into my own music. You know, you can you can be serious and really mean what you say and uh, and yeah, be clever and be funny and say things that are uh, silly and uh, it just really works. And you know, that's kind of how life is. You know, it's not like, you know, times go through smooth all the time. You know, there's a you know curveball thrown at you constantly. You know, you gotta adjust and hit. Do it for the news back when he worked for Four News. And so he comes to town and he interviews me. And they get there and we're walking up and I walk back to the backyard and I'm like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Man, you could do a breast stroke and it's so flooded, blah, 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 blah. And they're he's cracking up and he's like, all right. Puts the camera on. I'm like, um, yeah, there's a lot. It rained a lot. <laughs> um, the water was high and you could swim in it. It was fun. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I don't. I mean, I can sing you a song, but like as soon as as soon as you put the camera on me, go to start talking. I'm like, what do I say? He's like, just say what you said to us. And the chick, you know, she was like, blah 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 blah. <laughs>